Not many successful footballers have gone on to have successful managerial careers. Names like Thierry Andre, Alan Shearer, Gary Neville are a good case in point. Few have been lucky enough to leave a mark on both sides of the touchline, notably Pep Guardiola and Zinedine Zidane. Another such individual is Zidane's former teammate Antonio Conte. Only difference is that his playing career hasn't actually been talked about enough until today. From picking up a potential career-ending injury to bouncing right back up and going on to have a career spanning over 20 years. Welcome to Football Reminisce and this is the career story of Antonio Conte, the player. Conte, Conte, prova il destro Antonio! Conte! 2 a 2! Esplosa la panchina della Juve! Antonio Conte! Antonio was born in Lecce in 1969. His father, Cosimino Conte, was a football coach. He and Conte's mother were very strict and laid down the rules early for Antonio and his siblings. Despite being a football coach, Cosimino always insisted that school should come first. Antonio loved playing sports, but still performed well in his classes and was often used as a good example for the rest of the students. I was lucky enough to have true masters behind me. My father was good at teaching football. He also had the wisdom to guide me in education. He was responsible for turning me from a boy to a man. Antonio joined the Lecce amateur team at the age of 12. His father trained the team at the time. He developed his love and passion for the game while also building a framework to success with the help of his teammates and most importantly his father. At 13, he joined his hometown's team academy where he impressed quite a lot and was called out to the first team at the age of 16. In his first season with Lecce's first team, the club was relegated to the second division and as soon as he became an important piece in the Lecce puzzle, bad luck struck once again. This time, it was worse than relegation. Antonio fractured his tibia and doctors told him that this could be career ending. A tough pill to swallow for an 18 year old who had just had his breakthrough to professional football. He missed the entire season but proved the doctors wrong as he returned just in time for the 88-89 season. Lecce had just been promoted back to Serie A after two years. Antonio returned a different player, more determined to make up for lost time. He did exactly that helping Lecce to a ninth place finish in their first season back in the first division. He featured even more regularly in the next campaign, scoring his first professional goal that year and helping Lecce avoid relegation by just one point. Lecce were eventually relegated in his last full season with the club. He began the next season there but offers came in in the summer of 1991. After seven years with his hometown club, it was time for his big move. Juventus paid three million pounds for the midfielder. Juve had a great season but unfortunately fell short to an invincible AC Milan team in the league and lost the Coppa Italia final to Parma in Conte's first season there. His second season with the old lady was the most successful in terms of appearances, playing 47 games alongside names like Roberto Baggio, Paolo Di Canio, Gianluca Vialli and Fabrizio Ravanelli. Conte played in 10 out of the 12 European games as Juve won the UEFA Cup. During his time with the Italian Giants, he predominantly featured as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Despite not being the most skillful or technically gifted footballer, he fit this role perfectly. He used his stamina, work rate and tenacity to make four runs throughout the game, often leading to a goal or two. He was a very good striker of the ball and on many occasions ended up with a spectacular volley from outside the box in his CV. In some games, he was used as a defensive midfielder due to his reading of the game, accurate tackling and ability to collect the ball from the defenders and distribute it to the forward players. As mentioned earlier, he was not the best from a technical standpoint, but this part of his game improved as years went by. Gaining experience was a factor and also training with the likes of Del Piero, Zola and Zidane. That helped too. That would improve anyone's game to be honest. In the 93-94 season, Conte and Juve missed out on the Scudetto by only 5 points but bounced right back the next season, winning the league title 10 points clear of their closest challengers. They lost the UEFA Cup final but the very next season won the Champions League with Conte contributing 2 goals during that run. Antonio's leadership qualities did not go unnoticed as he was named captain. He was injured for most of the season and Del Piero got the armband instead. Weirdly enough, it went full circle. Del Piero himself got injured and Antonio became captain once again, this time keeping the armband for four years. He spent 13 years at Juve but injuries were always a factor. Without the setbacks, he would definitely have gone on to achieve more. Internationally, he made only 20 appearances for Italy. The competition for places in that Italian team was tough, especially during the 90s. 
He did feature at the 94 World Cup and the 2000 Euros, where Italy finished as runners-up in both tournaments. Unfortunately, these were not the only finals he lost. At Juve, he lost eight finals, including three in the Champions League, as well as finishing second in Serie A four times. Most articles describe his career as unlucky. You could see why. The finals lost, the injuries always affecting his playing time, and even resulting in him losing the captain's armband at some point. On top of that, him being at his prime when the Italian team was packed with talent, meaning he didn't get enough game time internationally. All this might have jeopardized his career, or maybe it didn't. Maybe it made him the strong character he is today. Maybe it built the winning mentality in him. Yes, he could have had four Champions League medals, but at least he has one. Many footballers finish their careers without that privilege. Yes, he finished a Serie A runner-up four times, but he still won it five times. A couple while being captain. Long story short, every final he lost, he still won it at some point, at club level at least. In total, he won 12 medals, 5 Serie A titles, 3 Supercoppa Italiana trophies, 1 Champions League, 1 UEFA Cup, 1 Intertoto Cup and 1 Coppa Italia. He also scored what many pundits regard as the best goal at a European tournament. This bicycle kick against Turkey at Euro 2000. He made 512 appearances during his club career, finding the net 46 times, as well as earning 20 caps for his country, scoring two goals. Conte has gone on to have a great managerial career, winning league titles in Italy and England. Being only in his 50s, it's hard to bet against him, adding to his accolades. In his own words, I did not have the talents of Zidane and Baggio. When I was a player, my efforts, Work rate, determination, and humility made up for that.